hello everyone in this video i will explain synchronization in java so in order to provide synchronization we are going to use synchronize so before using this keyword first i will show you what is the problem of this synchronization so in order to demonstrate this problem uh, let's take a object and this object let's say is having a method let's say public void process data so let's assume this uh, process data method is having a uh, huge code this code for this method is very huge and we are going to simulate that processing time let's say this uh, when we call this method this method actually takes five minutes to complete so how are we going to simulate this thing where thread will call this method we will uh, call sleep method and we will make that thread to sleep for 5 minutes and this method call actually can generate interpret uh, uh, exception so we need to handle that exception ok and let's say I am printing something in the beginning let's say this symbol bracket oh, uh, I'm denoting uh, to represent beginning of process data method execution and at the end I'm printing closing bracket Okay. So what we are going to demonstrate when we call this method, when one thread will call this method, it will print this opening bracket, which will show us that uh, the method execution actually started, and then that thread will sleep. So when a thread actually sleep, uh, control of execution will be transferred, or CPU will be given to another thread, and if another thread also calling the same method, then that thread also will enter in this method what we want sometime uh, whenever we want to share some resources among multiple thread and if those thread wants to modify that shared data so only one thread must be allowed to access that shared resource so here what we want we want that this method sh should be called only by one thread at a time so let's create our thread we will implement runnable interface and in this interface what we are going to do we will take one object of class 1 and in constructor of my th class we will pass a object of class 1 and we will assign this uh, reference to ob and here we will define our run method and what we will do in run method in run method we are going to call process data method ok so now we are done with uh, thread creation and uh, Here let's say let's create one more file let's say three in which we will define our public static void main method so here what we are going to do we will create the object of our class one so this object we have created so this class 1 object we have created so th that we can call this process data method and then we will create object of my th so let's say my th a equal to new my th create one more and then we will create class thread object 
in class thread object we will pass object of our classes which is actually implementing the enable interface so here we have created two thread and here we will start them Now here what we have missed uh, this our class which actually implementing runnable interface is having only one constructor and that constructor needs reference variable of class 1. So uh, here we will pass object of class 1. So we have created two thread and these both thread actually having access to a common object which is class 1 object x and when they will start in the run method we are calling process data method so let's save this file and let's compile it I'll just wait for compilation Okay, so compilation is done. Now we will run our program. So if you can see our main method is in class 3. So we need to run this program by writing Java 3. So if you can see, uh, we are having two opening bracket. It means both thread actually entered in that method. What we want, we want that this method can be executed only by one thread. So what we will do, if you will write synchronized keyword with any method, this keyword actually allow calling of this method only by a single thread. So what a thread will do whenever a thread will call this method, that thread actually occupy a lock on object of class 1. And at the same time if another thread also wants to invoke the same method, so before calling this synchronized method, the other thread also try to occupy that lock, but that lock can be occupied only by one thread. So here now we will compile and run our program. So if you can see here, only one thread has entered in my process data method. Once its execution is done, then second thread has entered. So synchronized keyword is used to allow execution of a method only by a single thread and it is used to provide a synchronization thank you very much for watching